Hey there wizards welcome back to Bugman Pai This is the third part of my deep web versus dark web videos and today I'm going to show you how to access the dark web safely and anonymously If you don't know what deep web dark web and tor is please go back and watch my previous videos on these topics So without further ado let's get started But before, in order to start surfing the dark web, we need three basic tools. One is a Tor browser. Second is a virtual environment, virtual box or a VMware, anything will do, and a Linux operating system. These are the three basic tools that we need. So I will show you how to download them and how to set things up. First, open your default browser and search for. virtual box the first website oracle vm virtual box that's official website click on that and you will see a big download button click on it once you have reached uh, the downloads page you will see uh, you know platform packages uh, if uh, select the file that is specific to your platform i mean your operating system i am using a windows operating system so i'll have to select windows host but if you are using any other like linux or mac select that is specific to your operating system i'll click on windows host and the download will start automatically i'm going to cancel the download because i have already downloaded virtual box because i don't want to waste your time downloading files but it's simple download it it will be in your downloads folder or you can select the folder where you want it to be downloaded to so once you have downloaded virtual box the next thing is downloading a linux operating system you can download pretty much any linux distribution like ubuntu kali or whatever you want but i i'm going to download tails for this particular purpose so i'm going to download tails os for those who don't know it is a linux distribution or a linux operating system that is specifically for privacy applications click on the first link and this is the official website and this is the button that you want to click on it is also platform specific you will have to select based on the platforms but since we are installing it on a virtual machine uh, on virtual box We'll have to uh, click on this for virtual machines ISO image. Make sure it's for virtual machines and it's an ISO image. Click on that. This is the download page. You can either go for direct download and you can get a torrent file. I'm going for the direct download because why not? Click on the direct download. The download will start. Beware. it is a 1.1 gb file is going to take some time so as you should cancel the download because i have already downloaded tails 2 because as i said i don't want to waste your time downloading stuff so i have pre downloaded the stuff it is simple it will be downloaded into your downloads folder copy to the desktop or wherever you want to keep it once you have downloaded it that's pretty much it Now we have the virtual box exe file for windows and tails iso file for virtual machines. Now what we are going to do is we are going to install this tails operating system inside the virtual box. For those who don't know what virtual machines are it is basically creating a computer inside your computer. So that if something bad happens like a hack or a virus attack something like that the virtual machine will be affected and your original system your your pc will be safe. Now uh, it's time to install the virtual box. Click double click on the file and an installation wizard will pop up any time now. There it is. Now the installation process is very simple. Click on next, next and make sure everything is checked. Next. Yeah. You know start the installation now you'll have to click on yes but i'm not going to click on yes because i have it already installed because it will take some time it will take a very bit of a uh, few times like uh, one minute or so i don't want to waste your time 
so i'm going to click no and the issue are going to cancel the installation yes i want to cancel the installation and if you are installing it for the first time it will come up with an end window after the installation click on finish and then there you go you have your virtual box installed open the virtual box and this tiny little window will pop up and if you are using it for the first time this section here will be empty for you this is where our virtual machines will be placed uh, this will be empty for you but i have some virtual machines already installed of course for testing purposes but you will have to click on this new button and this is a new virtual machine creation setup like uh, you'll have to name your virtual machine i'm going to name it tails uh, you can keep whatever you want as the name but the type should be linux and version you'll have to select the version that you have downloaded i am using debian 64 whatever the version you choose you make sure it's a 64 bit 64 bit there is a 32 bit also available don't select that click on next now memory size i'm going to you know 2093 uh, between the save zones there is a green and a red zone make sure it's in the end of the green zone next create virtual hard disk create virtual box disk image yes dynamically allocated and now the file location it's a uh, i'm going to keep it as 30 between 30 ranges that's basically what we need now create yes that's it we have created the platform for tails operating system but not yet we'll have to install the tails click on this settings button and go to the system option select processors and choose the number of processors that you want to provide i have uh, my system it's a four processor system so i'm going to allocate two of my processors for this virtual machine make sure don't allocate your entire processor for the virtual machines because that is not recommended your system needs some processor to do some work on it so and then click on storage select this empty section after the controller id this is the portion where we select our operating system operating system file the iso file we have downloaded click on the cd icon and choose virtual optical disk drive and from the folder you have downloaded it select tails amt42 the file you have downloaded and click on open okay so that's basically it now we have downloaded and installed tails inside the virtual box now start now this will take some time since it is the first time starting tails it will take some time to install it while it's being installed i'll tell you something about tails uh, you, you'll have to select the tails okay okay i'll tell you something about the tails tails is an anonymity based operating system but because that means it is not going to store any data in it so if you are downloading it and using it beware that don't store any of your information inside the operating system like keeping files or something like that like if you shut down the system shut down your system and restart it again the entire files will be deleted and cleared nothing will be stored so it is a temporary storage it will it will not keep track of your activities that's basically it so wait for it to load up so here it is it's loaded up uh, now you'll have to select the language keyboard layout formats stuff like that you can keep it by default because this is going not going to affect anything now start tails that's it every time you begin it it will going it is going to show this exact window like you're uh, starting it for the first time so uh, once you click the start button it will start it so there it is the Linux distribution, the Tails operating system is up and running. Now, let me close it. I'm going to make it full screen so that you can see everything clearly. Switch. Now, did we forget something? We haven't downloaded the Tor browser, have we? That's because we don't have to. Yes, if you're using the Tails operating system, Tails is specifically for anonymity purposes, so 
the Tor browser comes pre-installed in Tails. So you don't have to download Tor browser separately if you are downloading Tails as your Linux distribution. But if you're using any other Linux operating systems like Ubuntu, Kali, etc., you'll have to open your default browser and download Tor separately. So here we have it already installed, so I'll just open it up. Here, our browser is finally open. It will take some time to load up because uh, there is a small drawback for Tor. Uh, a downside for Tor, I'll say. Like, it is providing us anonymity at the expense of speed. If you click on this I icon here, you will see that the Tor browser is using some nodes to route our traffic. It routes our traffic through different systems across the world. If you know how Tor works, you'll understand that. Otherwise, you'll have to watch my previous videos on that. Here, from the browser, it first goes to Germany, then goes to United Kingdoms, then goes to United States, and then goes to the Tails official website. That's how Tor works basically. So it is very slow compared to other network connections since it is hopping the connection through different, different nodes. So that's basically it. We have all the tools required to access the dark. But is that it? No, our video is not complete. Not yet. We have the tools, but where's the dark web? This is just a normal search engine like Google, the Tor browser. You cannot search for dark web websites. You'll have to know the link to access them. For that purpose, you'll have to go to the hidden wiki. Search for the hidden wiki. Normally, it will take some time. You'll have to wait for it to load. So this is the hidden wiki search results. This is a surface web website. This is not the official hidden wiki, the uncensored hidden wiki website, but this is a link that will lead us to the uncensored hidden wiki. This is what we want. This is an Onion website. That is a dark web website. You'll have to go to this website. From there, we will go to other dark web websites. So this is the official page of Hidden Wiki. This is a dark web website. You can see the URL. It is a .onion website. This is not accessible via normal Google search. You can only access this web page by using the Tor browser. From here, we can navigate to different sections or different websites of the dark web, of course. Uh, it is sorted into different categories. Uh, in an upcoming video, I will show you different websites, uh, how to travel into them, how to access them, that kind of stuff. It will be in a different video, but for this video, to show you uh, how to access different websites, I will pick one website just for this video uh, let me see we will pick a commercial site uh, first one itself guns dark market right why not <laughs> yeah let's see what comes up honestly i don't know what this website is i haven't been there yeah it's loading oh Yes, it's loaded. Certain images. Well, here it is. Guns. Lots of guns. This is a illegal weapons website that you can access and purchase weapons. Great. I'm not going to stay here forever and I'm not going to show you what the contents are. You can explore it by yourself by accessing it from the hidden wiki so this is it this is how you access dark web you can explore the categories and find different websites different categories there are us fake ids passwords apple for bitcoin you name it there are lots of things in here you will have to search it by yourself but remember there are uh, websites that provide anonymous chats emails etc 
it is very good reliable services but there are always scammers and hackers waiting there to trap you don't fall into their trap and stay on the safer side as i told you before in upcoming videos i will give you tips and tricks to stay on the safer side of the dark web but if you are planning to jump into it right away keep it in mind don't get into trouble so that's it now you know how to access dark web what are the tools required and everything related to accessing the dark web now it's up to you to surf the dark web on your own you can explore as i told you in the previous videos it is not illegal to go into the dark web and see what's happening there but you'll have to take care of yourself that's all i have to say so if you like this video and you think it's useful consider subscribing and show some love see you in the next video